いらっしゃいませ。Hi, I'm Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker and welcome to the Quick Start Tutorial for Sushi Go Party, a sequel to the popular game right game Sushi Go, but with new cards and lots of variety. Well, I am getting hungry. いただきます。Sushi Go Party is a drafting game that plays 2 to 8 players. It's for ages 8 and up and plays around 20 minutes. The game is by Phil Walker Harding, illustrated by Nan Rigsama, and published by Game Right Games. Now, what's a drafting game, you may ask? Well, it's a style of play where players select a card to play and then pass their hand to the next player while receiving another one from a different player. In Sushi Go Party, there are three rounds of card drafting. Players build up set of cards in order to score points, and the player who has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. To set up a game of Sushi Go Party, place the board in the middle of the table. Next, everyone selects a pawn to keep score. Place the pawns next to zero. Now it's time to build up today's menu for a four player game. Sushi Go Party comes with several different cards, but all games will only use eight of those sets. The menu we're going to build is My First Meal, suggested in the rulebook. Get all the cards for nigiri, maki, tempura, sashimi, miso, wasabi, tea, and green tea ice cream. Place the rest of the cards aside. We won't be using them for this game. Next, get out the corresponding tiles and place them in their respectable spaces on the board. Then set aside the green tea ice cream cards and shuffle the rest of the cards together. Before beginning a game, what I like to do is set up the dessert cards for each round. Make stacks for each round of dessert cards based on the number of players playing. We have four players, so the first stack has five dessert cards for the first round, round two has three cards, and round three has two cards. This covers the setup of the game. Let's move on to see how the game plays. There are three rounds of Sushi Go Party. Each round consists of a hand of cards. In this case of a four player game, all players begin with nine cards at the start of each round. Before a round starts, a number of dessert cards are shuffled into the deck. This is determined by the number of players and what the current round is. In the first round of a four player game, shuffle in five cards. Then deal out nine cards to all players. The first thing all players do is select a card and place it face down. When all players are ready, everyone reveals their face down card. At this point, some cards will activate any effects if there are any. And while most cards will earn you points, most points are collected at the end of the round when all the cards have been played. After playing a card, each hand of cards are passed to the players to the left. This means that you should receive a hand of cards from the player to your right. Of course, this hand of cards will have one less card, and so on with each succeeding hand. Players continue to play cards until all cards have been played. Then points are tallied up using up the score track located on the perimeter of the board. Unless this is the end of the game after the third round, desserts don't score yet. All the cards are collected and shuffled to create a new deck except for the desserts, which stays out in front of each player who played them. Don't forget to add the dessert cards to the deck before playing a new round. The succeeding rounds are played identical like the first. When the final third round is completed, players score all the cards, including their dessert cards from previous rounds. Player with the most points is the winner. And now you know the basics for the game, here is an example of play. Okay, let's start. It's the first round, and I just got my first hand. So, the card I want to play is the wasabi. So, I place it face down in front of me. 
What's great about the Wasabi card is that the next Nigiri I play scores three times the points. All right, everyone is ready. So three, two, one, flip. Everyone plays their card, and then everyone passes their hand of cards to the left. Next, the card I want to play from this hand is the Shishimi. In order for this to score, you need a set of three of these cards. Anyone can make more than one set, but any uncomplete sets score a zero. Everyone is ready, so three, two, one, flip. Next hand. Okay, good. Uh, this is a nigiri card. There are three different kinds: tamago, salmon, and ika, or egg, salmon, and squid in English. Each scores straight points of one, two, and three respectively. Now, since I played the wasabi before, the next nigiri card is placed on top, indicating that I get the three times bonus. Lucky for me, I placed the squid nigiri, so with the three times multiplier, my squid is now worth nine points. Okay, moving right along. Great, I'm getting another sashimi. One more to go. All right, next hand. So I have two moves I could make. The first one is this T card. The T card gives one point for each card of the largest group of cards by color. And there is this maki. The way this one works is at the end of the round, the player with the most maki by maki icons gets six points, and second place gets three points. Well, I might as well go for the T one. In this hand, I have another choice: either some low-scoring nagiri or the tempura. Now, the tempura functions like a sashimi, but all is needed is a pair. I'm going to risk it for the tempura. Three more hands to go. Now I got a choice of miso or green tea ice cream. A complete set of green tea ice cream is worth 12 points, but it doesn't score until the very end of the game, and I must have at least four of those to score. I don't want to do that, so I'm going with the miso. However, there is a risk involving with this card too. If any other player plays a miso card this turn, the miso cards that are played are discarded. And so there goes three points. Uh, we reached the second hand, and uh, hey, it's a shishimi. Um, lucky me, I guess. All right, and the last card is a uh, egg nigiri. We have reached the end of the round, and it's time to score. And now let's go ahead and take a look at my cards. The wasabi and squid nigiri combo gives me 9 points. I have a complete set of sashimi, so I score 10 points. I don't score for the tempura because the set is incomplete. I do score for my tea. Since my largest set is the sashimi with 3 cards, I score 3 points. Plus 1 point for this last egg nigiri. My grand total is 23 points, which is really good. And I move my pawn up 23 spaces. This completes the round. Keeping all desserts cards, all the players turn in all their cards to form a new deck for the next round. And don't forget to add in the desserts for the next round. It's going to be three desserts because it's the second round. The cards are dealt and the game continues. And that concludes our tutorial for Sushi Go Party. But wait, there's still many other cards in the game and to learn more about them, please watch our follow-up video where I explain each card in full detail. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you found it helpful, please help us by liking and sharing it. And you can also show your support for our channel by subscribing and by visiting our Patreon page. I'm Ferdinand the Garbage Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.